From the pre-draw, we move smoothly on to the draw itself. The draw occurs once the pre-draw is complete and continues up to the full draw when the string and draw hand contact the face. To achieve the best possible draw, it's important to complete the grip, setup, and pre-draw first. This ensures that the body and bow are correctly aligned to begin the draw. This develops a consistent routine important for all steps. The draw should be smooth and confident whilst maintaining a 50-50 balance between push and pull. The draw hand and string should contact the face to make a firm and consistent anchor position. At full draw, the push forward through the bow arm should be directed towards the centre of the target and the drawing elbow should maintain pressure directly away from the target. As the push-pull of the draw is expanded, the sight is aimed onto the centre of the target and relaxation makes aiming more precise. Though there's little movement at full draw, the push-pull must be continuous. String alignment must also be checked. The draw arm and shoulder blade must both be used to achieve full draw. At full draw, the shoulder blade provides the final movement before release. The bow shoulder is placed in line during the pre-draw, allowing room for the draw shoulder to move during the draw. At full draw, there's a straight line from the bow hand through the draw hand to the draw elbow. A well-aligned body allows the larger muscles to make the draw, keeping both hands and fingers relaxed and increasing control of the shot. The push forward from the bow shoulder towards the target increases the room on the back. The draw shoulder to move during the draw and keep squeezing at full draw. During a shot routine, the draw lasts for only a couple of seconds. Many errors occur in the draw as a result of poor alignment during the pre-draw. When the bow shoulder is not placed in line during pre-draw, it's difficult to maintain the 50-50 balance, difficult to use the larger muscles. The force of the bow at full draw keeps the bow shoulder misaligned which is why it can't be changed. The drawing elbow is also forced out of line, breaking the straight line from the bow hand through the draw hand to the draw elbow. Taking time to prepare before the draw is critical, otherwise the draw and shot will suffer. Sometimes the bow shoulder will collapse backwards, again placing the bow shoulder and draw shoulder out of line. Correct alignment is shown on the left compared to the shoulder hunching on the right. Let's take a closer look at the drawing muscles. Watch the highlighted area of the back during the draw. The draw shoulder blade starts in a relaxed level position. During the draw, the draw shoulder blade is squeezed towards the spine. At full draw, the squeeze is increased until the shot is released. Watch 
Watch the left screen to see the squeeze relax once the full draw is reached, stopping the continuity of the shot. Raising the bow shoulder puts the shoulders out of line and reduces the push of the bow arm. It also increases the risk of bow shoulder injury. If the bow shoulder is squeezed backwards towards the spine, it's placed out of line and blocks the movement of the draw shoulder. Avoid tilting the body forward to lower the bow shoulder in line with the orange tee. Instead, the shoulder blade should be level in a natural position with a vertical spine to make a red tee.